Hey, my daughter came out to do some more work for that makeup kit that she ordered. So I got the ex two extension pieces on and finished. So this whole half of the bench work is done now. So I'm um, just going to go pan around, show you where I added the two extensions. I got this one here now. So now I can go ahead and finish my loop and finish my uh, turntable area and get that um, whole engine facility all finally completely finished up. And then I have kind of a surprise that I'm going to work on over in here. But um, also this is where my um, passenger Here's line is where the start. other extension is. And this is where I'm going to relocate the military base from there to over here. And this is where I'm going to have the main line coming around like this. And it's going to go into the town. It's going to come around like this. And it's going to circle around and do kind of like a Tehachapi loop kind of thing. Um, but obviously not quite as big or prominent. So um, this whole half of the bench work is now complete. It, it's finished. Now I start working on this half of the bench work and working over into here where Serenity is going to be. But um, let me see if I can get over here. It's kind of a mess in here right now. So, but that's pretty much the end scale layout now. I picked up the right hand turnout today to uh, go ahead and get this siding set in place. Um, it's just going to be a one track, kind of like a warehouse kind of thing. Um, I was going to turn it into a paper mill, but I know a paper mill needs a lot of tracks, or at least more than one, obviously. So this is just going to be like a warehouse kind of thing for like um, taking in goods here. Um, I'll build onto it here, and I want to build like a, a U shaped building around the track. <clears throat> and maybe extend this one out a little bit more so you know one train comes in and they unload goods here and they manufacture whatever and it goes through the process and then comes out here and then goes back into wherever it's going to go um, I think I need whoops I think I need one more right hand turnout and then I'll pretty much have the entire industrial area done so I'm going to try and pick that up Saturday. I don't know if I'll be able to. And then I can go ahead try. and finish up the industrial area. And then I'll mark out my track. I'll trace all my track out. And then I'll go ahead and pull off all the track and then glue down this foam. I already got these risers back here. These are all glued down. Um, I got those set because they kept falling down behind there. And I'd have to open my garage door to get them because I can't get to them from the back because... When it rains, it does seep back here, so I put that tarp back there around everything so I don't get anything. But wet. So, yeah, I've been losing these back there. Uh, the track's not secure yet, but uh, at least these won't fall off, and now this foam won't slide around on me. So that's pretty good. Now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get these set where they're going to be, glue them down, and then I'm going to I just got uh, an incline decline set today <clears throat> so I need to get that in there and then this whole section as far as the uh, freight and main line and rail yard and industrial area will all be set and I can start securing the track um, of course I'm going to test it first um, actually I got some wires and some alligator clips I'm just going to jump a circuit between the two there so I could test this track but I want to get everything set first so that way I can just go through and check it all and fix everything before I secure it all down. So that's, uh, that's where I'm at now. I uh, got the industrial area almost complete. Okay. Got some power wires, power lines soldered onto the tracks. And got that hooked up to a power pack. And obviously I don't have the track over here finished. So what I did was I just went ahead and made a couple of jumpers with some alligator clips, just enough to where I can at least get current through it and uh, even just test the track to see if, make sure everything's still good. Now, a lot of it's still not secured down yet. Um, obviously most of it isn't actually, I don't think anything but the rail yard is secured down. Uh, so 
Got this all set up, got a locomotive on, and we're going to give it a test run. Yeah, I got to widen that little part of the... But we got power. I've, uh, I do have a couple of issues in a couple of spots. Like right in here, um, it's really loose, so it's causing some issues with the connection. Um, as you can see, they slide around a little bit. So, whoop, that would be real there. Okay. Uh, but at least I got power to it. I also have some issues over here. Obviously, that's not going to work very well. Uh, the track's not even because it's still got some old road bed and stuff glued to the bottom of it. So um, kind of loses some connectivity over in there. So uh, now that I got a soldering iron and um, a friend of mine came over and showed me how to solder today. So I could start getting this track all set up running really good. And then I can start moving on. But um, this is pretty much the whole main line here. Um, starting here, here. And this is the main line going out of this area and into town. And this is the main line coming out of town and back into the area. So get at least get all this running pretty decent and um, set pretty good. And then uh, I can start moving on and going more out into the town. But at least I can know that I can run some trains on it they don't go all the way around just yet as you'll see here they do have some issues with some uh, loose spots um, hanging places things like that like that's one of them That's not good. Yeah, it did some damage when she took a tumble. It broke this front section right here. Um, I think I can fix it though. So hopefully not all is lost. But yeah, that's unfortunate because this is probably one of my lo most reliable locomotives. This Trix F7 has been such a workhorse since the day I got it. So maybe while I got it apart, I'll go ahead and get her all cleaned up and get some... Uh, get some light oil or light some light grease and just go ahead and give her a rehab since I got her apart unfortunate but anyway we do have power I definitely got to get all the tracks secure oh gone the wrong direction okay we do have power so I just need to uh, get all this track secure and get some sort of safeguard uh, along the edge here. 